there, it's me Megan and welcome to the Learn to Monetize More video series. In today's tutorial, we'll teach you about deals and private auctions in Google Ad Exchange. Deals and private auctions are newly added features to Google Ad Exchange. These features allow you to conduct transactions with your preferred or most trusted bidders by taking a deal outside the real-time bidding process. After doing so, you can then deal directly with your preferred advertiser outside the constraints of an auction. Are you ready to get to know these new features? Let's begin. Before beginning the lesson on how to create a new private auction in the Ad Exchange, I'd like to jump into more detail about what private actions and deals are and how you might best take advantage of these exciting new Ad Exchange features. As a publisher, you may discover that you form trusted relationships with a select group of buyers and advertisers. You may want to open inventory for these select buyers to bid on a private auction. Your buyers, of course, love this opportunity, as they have a priority buying option for a specific floor before the inventory is open to a larger pool of advertisers. In addition, the private auction suggests exclusivity and prime ad slots, highly attractive to buyers. On the publisher's side, creating a private auction can allow them to price their inventory higher due to this exclusivity of inventory, thereby generating additional revenue. Deals can both be a private auction or a preferred deal. As I mentioned, a private auction is when a publisher opens inventory to a pool of buyers or advertisers. A preferred deal, on the other hand, is offered to only one buyer or advertiser for a fixed price. Publishers can use these features to their advantage, particularly after running a Buyer Networks Performance Report query, if they notice several of the same buyers or advertisers routinely bidding for big volumes of site inventory. Then the publisher knows that for these buyers, the site is highly targeted to their audience. Smart publishers use this knowledge strategically. Because your site is highly attractive to these buyers, opening a private auction with these buyers or initiating a preferred deal with one buyer may generate more revenue than allowing this same inventory to be bid on by all buyers or advertisers. With this overview out of the way, let's go through the workflow for creating a new private auction in the Ad Exchange. To begin, we log into our Ad Exchange account and click on the Deals tab. From the Private Auctions menu, we choose New Private Auction. Enter a name for the inventory you are offering. The more descriptive, the better. In this example, I am going to name the private auction Always underscore on underscore desktop tablet mobile. This simply means that this private auction offer will always appear on all devices. Please note that while invited buyers may participate in the bidding process, they will not be able to see a rate price. In our experience, site revenue can be maximized as the bidder competition increases. Consequently, we recommend to allow open auction buyer optimization by checkmarking the box. If the buyers outbid others in a private auction, they will be able to participate in the private deals. With our private auction parameters created, we need to enter the buyers or advertisers we'd like to invite to participate in our priority private deals and set the price. Because the publisher's goal is to maximize ad revenue for this remnant inventory, we recommend to set a price that is a lot higher than your current daily average CPMs. For example, if your average is $175, then you'll want to push $4 in the private deals at the very minimum, preferably more. How many buyers can we select? There isn't a limit. If, however, you think that your current blocks minimize favorable buyer bids, you have the option to turn them off. To do that, turn on the feature Override Blocks. You may also decide to add another pricing level for a select pool of buyers or advertisers, in which case click plus add another buyer to create an additional pricing row in the offer. Thus far, we've created the private auction and selected our buyer or advertiser pool. The next step is to define the ad units where the auction will take place. We recommend you include all of the ad units that you would like to bid on for private deals. However, you may prefer a deal with a specific rate to be applied across all ad units, in which case you can simply target the URL and inventory sizes. Remember to check the rates that you currently get on these ad units from your unsold inventory. The goal is to get an increase so the private auction rates should be substantially higher. This process is similar to how you would target your DFP line items in DFP. After defining where the auction will take place, we must choose our publisher profile. If you haven't created your profile yet, simply go into your ad settings and choose publisher profiles. 
only a brief description of your site, along with your Google Analytics demographics and site volume by geography, is required. Remember, this is what your potential buyers or advertisers will see, so make it attractive. Finally, the last step to creating a private auction is to decide whether you want to reveal the full URL to your buyers or only display the top-level domain URL. For full transparency, select Branded under the Branding setting in the Additional Settings box. To keep the URL partially hidden, select Semi-Transparent. One additional side note I'd like to mention briefly. You have the option to set a date for the private auction if it's to run only for a period of time. You'll want to receive updates on who accepts your invitation. Enter your email address to get updates from your buyers or advertisers on whether they accept or reject your invitation. And that's it! Next, I'd like to go over how to set up a preferred deal. As I mentioned earlier, publishers may choose to create a preferred deal if they want to secure a deal with one buyer at a specific rate. Either the publisher or the buyer can initiate a preferred deal. To create a preferred deal, click on Deals. Located on the left-hand side of the page under Preferred Deals heading, choose New Offer. It's here where we will want to enter a descriptive name for our new offer, along with the rate, and specific details for the deal. After entering the new detail offers, select Buyer from the list. After selecting your buyer from the list, the other steps are the same as creating a private auction. Select the Targeting URL Transparency setting Campaign Dates and Blocking Overrides. To set the pricing for a private auction or preferred deal, simply do the following. 1. With your AdEx account, navigate to the Query tool and select System Queries. 2. Next, run a Buyer's Network Performance Report with a date range covering the last seven days. With the report in hand, we can quickly gauge which specific buyer is the best candidate to create our preferred deal or private auction. One final point I'd like to make regarding setting the pricing, because these arrangements have priority over the open auction, we must price the rate two to three times higher than the true value in the open auction. This lesson covered the advantages of private auctions and preferred deals, as well as how to create each within your Ad Exchange account. Again, to determine whether you may have a select pool of buyers or advertisers who are good candidates for an outstanding preferred deal or private auction, simply pull a Buyer's Network Performance Report and set the appropriate pricing for these opportunities. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.